depth buffer method. Depth buffer method is image space approach to detect visible surfaces. There may be a multiple surface and each surface is processed separately and, and one pixel at a time. And in this method, a double buffer should be used. Dead buffer is used to store the depth values of the pixel and the frame buffer is used to store the surface color of the pixel. Another thing, the viewing will take place in the jet direction and the view plane will be placed at the depth of zero. Now I shall explain depth buffer method with this diagram. Now you can see I have taken three pixels on the view plane randomly and already I told you that that view is will be taking place along the z-axis and here you can see the dotted lines it is showing that orthogonal projections. Now you can see there are I have considered that there are three surfaces S1, S2 and S3 and you concentrate on only one uh, pixel x1 and y1. Therefore, from this pixel an orthogonal projections is shown here. Now you can see that the corresponds to x1 and y1 there will be a pixel on s1 surface where the x coordinate and y coordinate will remain the same. Exactly same also s2 surface also x coordinate and y coordinate will remain the same and and S3 also. But Z coordinate will be different for S1, S2 and S3. That why? Because in the orthogonal projection, the X coordinate and Y coordinate do not change. Only the Z coordinate will change. Therefore, whatever the value of X coordinate and Y coordinate here x1 and y1, here also the coordinate will be x1 and y1, here also x1 and y1, here also x1 and y1. But the z coordinate will differ. Here I, I can suppose that z distance is z1, here is the z2, here is z3, distance from the view plane. That I want to clarify. Now according to the depth buffer method, what is the distance jet coordinate jet coordinate where the distance is less therefore here it intersected that it intersected the three surfaces and which is the distance is less now distance less is s1 in in, in we can view that the distance will be less s1 that distance z1 which is the less s s1 distance is less compared to s2 and distance of uh, compared to S3. Therefore, if I consider the distance from the view plane of S1, S2 and S3, we will find that the distance from S1 is the least. Therefore, the pixels informations of corresponding to that, that will be saved and the distance distance will be will be saved into the depth buffer and color of this pixel will be saved in, in the frame buffer and other two will not be saved, other two will be neglected. In the exactly similarly, now you consider x2 and y2, you can see that if in orthogonal projection, if I take then the distance from s2 is the least, it is compared to s3, therefore the information about this pixel will be saved distance will be saved from the view plane in the depth buffer and this pixel's color information will be saved in the frame buffer. And if you if you concentrate in the x3 and y3, you can see that the, these, these pixels information will be say, saved. That means distance from this pixel to the view plane will be saved into the depth buffer and the color information will be saved of this pixel into the frame buffer. Mm -hmm. 
And therefore, I summarize that you can see again, see, see because uh, again, I, I come back to x1 and y1. You can see x1 and y1 in, in this orthogonal projection from x1 and y1. It intersect, it is, it is, there are three possible values maybe there, but the nearest one is s1. Therefore, these pixels will be saved, this pixel information will be saved. And in the, in the case of an, this corresponds to this pixel and, and this uh, S2's pixels information will be saved. And uh, in this case, S3's, uh, these pixels information will be saved. And, and this is the uh, summary of this method. Now you can come to this depth buffer algorithm. Now, at, when we discuss this algorithm, the, at the beginning I want to mention one thing, that the distance will be measured in the normalized coordinate. That means the maximum distance is 1 and the minimum distance, that means where the uh, view plane is placed, that distance is 0. And that I wanted to mention. Now, you can see that in the algorithm, uh, as I have written here, that in initialize depth buffer and the frame buffer. That means what? That the view plane has the pixels. Then all the pixels will be, depth buffer will be, in, corresponds to all the pixel. Depth buffer will be initialized with maximum distance and the frame buffer corresponds to that is pixels on the view plane will be initialized the background color. Then we'll process each surface as in the diagram I showed we I have taken the three surfaces. Therefore each surface will be taken one at a time and the from and one one at a time it will be pixel and and processed. That means what? That means from that surface, a orthogonal projections will be taken, and if this uh, depth of these projections will be found to be lesser than the what is already stored into the depth buffer, then this depth buffer depth buffer informations will be replaced by that distance, and as a result the new value of the depth buffer will be this distance. That, what, exactly what does it mean? We are going for the shortest distance found uh, when the, all this, when all this uh, surface will be processed. That means uh, the shortest of all the, will, we will be storing in the depth buffer. And corresponding to that pixel, the color information will, will, will be saved in the frame buffer. And, the, and that is the actually, and this will continue and for all the pixels. And uh, all, as the processing of all the surfaces is complete, the depth buffer contains the depth values of visible surface and the frame buffer will contain corresponding color values of these surfaces. And that is the algorithm of this method. We will discuss the calculation of depth values while processing the surfaces. Now, here I am showing the horizontal line which is a scan line. And I am showing here this is are the two pixels. And first pixel has a coordinate of x, y and the second pixel x plus 1 and y. Now we know that the equation of a surface can be is represented as ax plus by plus cz plus d equal to 0 and from that we can calculate the z. And once we know that uh, z value for a particular pixels, the next the distance distance z dash can be calculated by just substituting in place of x x plus 1 and from that we we get that next pixels depthness is by these equations and in that way we can find out the 
depthness of each pixels in this on the scan line when all these pixels depth values information of the y scan line already been found then we have to come to the y minus y scan line and here this pixel representing the first pixel on the y minus 1 scan line and let us consider the slope of the line is m in that case that x dash will be equal to x minus of 1 by m and if this i substitute in the equation number 1 and in place of y if i substitute y minus 1 we can find out that z value depth values of this pixel and that is all about the depth buffer method.